welcome back to another video. My name is Underrated Hijabi and in today's video I am going to be trying Sri Lankan food. I woke up this morning and I was like to myself, girl, you're craving Sri Lankan food. How do you crave something you've never had? That's a bit of me, right? So I'm just going to go and buy myself some Sri Lankan food. Some Sri Lankan food and we're just gonna give it a go. We're gonna spend a day eating Sri Lankan food and I really do hope it tastes amazing because to be honest with you I've never tried Sri Lankan food before. Uh, the closest I've ever got to Sri Lanka or any type of Sri Lankan is Arie! Which is like, you know, I think it's like Tamil because like I used to go to school and there was a lot of ta girls that sp spoke Tamil and it's always Arie! I think it means oi though. Arie! Anyways, I need to learn Tamil. Um, all I know it's very fast when they speak is like <laughs> But then again, like, that's probably how we sound whenever we speak our languages. But yes, let's go and get some Sri Lankan food. We're going to go and explore, enjoy, and enhance our stomach appetizations and also our stomach craving buddings. <laughs> you see soon. The food corner, Sri Lankan, South Asian, vegan, non-vegan. I'm going to get these as takeaways because it's not a restaurant. It's a takeaway place. Oh, we have all of these. Guys, look at the selection of food. Guys, I just wanted it. This looks amazing. What did they make? The chicken looks. I wanted to ask, I want to uh, buy like Sri Lankan breakfast. Uh, I want, uh, can you recommend me something? This one? Yeah. Okay. But really it's uh, And halal too? Yeah. Okay, yeah, it's okay. Four pounds. Thank you. Those four pounds. So the first thing she told me to get was this bread. It looks like a loaf of bread, but it's actually kind of soft. It's kind of crunchy. Okay. And then she was like to me, get these, which are like fried. Um, I'm not too sure what they are. I'm not too sure. Let's give it a go, Bismillah. Mmm. Mmm. It's nice. It tastes like a samosa. A vegetable samosa, but soft and donut too. There's two more, so that's three. All together cost me four pounds. Anyways, and then she told me to get these two. Oh, this looks like lentils. You know me. <laughs> me and lentils. And then there's this, but I'm not too this is kind of cold. Is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab some of the bread. Oh this bread is crunchy, bro. <laughs> Let's give this a go. I think you're supposed to pick it up. Mm. It's just a curry. Very flavoursome. I thought it would be spicy. It's got onions, it's got lentils. It is quite flavoursome. spice part because they add chunks of green chilies so you, you don't even see it at the beginning that's a surprise i'm gonna try this i don't know what this is i don't know we're gonna see this is like chili you know like the you know how lebanese make those chili sauces it's like that but without the chili sauce so you could taste the garlic you could taste everything so i think i'm supposed to mix them i've added some there and then what we're gonna do is just gonna mix it a little bit mix it around It just tastes more garlicky. I'm gonna try it with this. I'm gonna see if this tastes good with this. <gasps> ah! It's fine, guys. I'm gonna get a cow wash today. Nope, nope. I didn't know there was Sri Lankan tea. Looks like normal tea, but let's give it a go. It's very nice. Well, do you know why it's nice? Because it's similar to tea that the tea I used to drink like when I was younger so it's like you know nido milk powder so it's normal tea with nido milk powder 
It is sweet though. I don't like sweet tea, but it's not too sweet. I wanted to go to, but it's closed and it's going to be opening on the 4th. What's this, buddy? This vegetarian bun. Ah. This fish bun. That's a fish bun. Yeah. What's that? What's this? Excuse me. What is this? Sweet bun. Sweet bun. How do you eat it? Is is it Sri Lankan? Do women eat it? Yeah. Women? Everybody. Yeah, I'll try it. Look <laughs> at this. This is. No alcohol, right? No alcohol. Yeah. How much is it? You have a card machine? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Whenever I drive here, yeah, I always see this place called Amor and I and I didn't know whether it was Sri Lankan or not. So I got a few things. Um but the biggest thing that I have is this. This is called pan. I don't know why, yeah, but why do I feel like pan is like some sort of a tobacco? What is pan leaf good for? Chewing a tiny amount of pan leaves paste after meals not only boosts gut wellness, but it also fights bad breath, mouth odor, as well as relieves tooth aches, gum pain, swelling, and oral infections. Did I buy tobacco? I don't know if it is or if it's not. Online it says it's tobacco. Um, it's chewable tobacco, but like I'm gonna keep that aside until I find out what exactly it is um, Because I ain't doing this guys Tobacco any sort of drug is not good for you guys do not have it. It is terrible You may not see the effects right now, but as you get older you will see the effects and it's to be honest with you It's not worth it avoid drugs avoid tobacco. Okay. This is the kuti Kutu or kuti that I got this looks good though. This looks so good, guys. I'm gonna put this. It smells fantastic. I'm gonna put this in a microwave. This looks fantabby. Fantabula zico. I can't wait to try this. We're gonna let this cool down for a little bit. Let it cool. Let's try some of the rolls. So, this roll is a. I think it's a fish roll. It's been there. Mmm. Mmm. It looks like a massive fish finger, but it's actually nice. Mm. It tastes like potatoes and like fish. And like a little spicy sauce. Mm. I really like that. Also, oh, she's banging. And then my guy got me a mutton roll. I'm gonna give this a go. Mmm. This has bare flavour. Mmm. I think it's like mashed up meat. It's really spicy, is that? Oh, the spice colorentos. And then I think I and then I got this. I don't I'm not too sure. I'm gonna double check what this is. Mm -hmm. I think this is like a, another mutton roll because I just had like yeah look this is not as nice it's not as great as um, the first two but this one is banging though <sighs> it's so spicy it's nice it's just, it just tastes like dry noodles there's mutton and I feel like there's like a variety of things in here I just feel like it's like a type of noodles <sighs> drink that I got but my brother said to me I should have got the pink one this is, tastes like iron brew this tastes like iron brew so it's not really juicy but it's very dry and spicy this is nice though, I'm gonna eat this together. I won't be able to finish this because this is too spicy for me right now. This, this on the scale of spiciness, this is a, a million and one. 
I'm trying to push through but like my eyelids are already sweating too so I feel like it's a bit extreme I'm gonna give this to my aunt because my aunt loves spicy food Sambal Express they have sandwiches, coffees, tea, muffins, cupcake sandwiches and they have like loads of things wow oh they have these and then they have these They have all of these drinks. But they have these for what is this bro? Is this for Lida? And they have a chocolate version, it's one pound fifty. They have these dessert things. And this, what is this? And they have that. Guys, look at this. And they have cakes to make cakes. They have these spicy Sri Lankan mixture. I'm getting this. Hi, you see it? Hello. Is it? I want to get something for um, lunch. What's like? Because uh, I'm doing Sri Lankan food, so I wanted to try a washo, like something Sri Lankan people have for lunch. I have my food. Um, you know, I was thinking. Yeah, there's a boiled egg in here. Can you microwave a boiled egg? Don't know why that sounds weird, didn't it? Bro, look at this. It does look like mat because it looks like. There's loads of things going on here, but this looks absolutely flamboyant. Is that mutton? Okay, we're gonna give it a go. We're gonna give it a go. Let's give the uh, the mutton curry a go. I know I'm supposed to eat with my hands, but there's a lot going on. Bismillah. Guys, the flavor, the flavor is impeccable. Na 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 na. Mmm. The flavor is good. The mutton is soft. Okay. I don't know what this ball is. There's a ball right there. I'm gonna crank it open. Oh right, guys, this is flavorsome. Very, very spicy. Oh, what's this? What's this? Oh. It's got something inside. Don't know what that is. It does look a bit booky. Bismillah. I think it's fish. It's a fish, it's a fish, it's a fish. And then I feel like this is like some chili sauce. Let's taste this orange thing. <laughs> the spice is mad, bruv. But I said to myself, I'm trying to build my spice tolerance. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pretend it's not spicy, okay? We're gonna try the orange thing. orange thing is terrible I don't know what it is what is that do you know what it tastes like it's giving like fried sweet corn you know when you fry it in oil now you're not supposed to fry sweet corn and then, and then you have a boiled egg okay then you have the boiled egg and that's a perfectly boiled egg I love the mutton curry the curry the mutton one is banging I've never had egg with rice before in my life I can barely taste it so it doesn't really affect me but this curry hey this curry and rice is banging then i got this drink x fruit sri lankan style oh this is so good it's so sweet <laughs> it's a chili that was so scary bro you know sometimes yeah, your sneezes are different <laughs> That was a sneeze from like my chest. <clears throat> if it's a sneeze from my nose, it's like <coughs> but that was. <coughs> so the chili down my throat was affecting me. Can't wait for dinner, you know. But dinner, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go to a restaurant because I feel like these takeaway things, like your girl's moving a bit mad. Like. <laughs> I 
tastes really nice though. Yeah. Okay, this is a mutton roll. This is like a chili sauce. <laughs> so seasoned. And this is like the mogul. What is mogul, by the way? Cassava. What is it? Cassava. What's cassava? Cassava is a plant. Not a plant, but a vegetable. Ah, it's vegetable. It's really popular in East African and Asian dishes. It's like a it root vegetable. Really it's like a dried potato. Yeah, it is. It's really dry. It's very dry. Wow, it's amazing, isn't it? Oh, that's nice, you know. Like, there's another mutton roll in there. Is that another mutton roll? No, it's fish. It's a fish. Who told you? It's fish. Fish with um, sardines. Are you just making this up? <laughs> and there's an egg here. Oh, this is a really nice mixture of meat. The meat is so nice. Yeah. The fish. The fish is delicious. No, you haven't tried it. This is a fish. That's not a fish. It's a. It is. It's sardine. No sardines are here. This is like oh. a jackfruit. Oh. Mm. <coughs> it looks like chicken. It is. It's vegan chicken. It's vegan chicken. <coughs> and this is the aubergine. Everything on here tastes amazing. It's like a mixture of everything. <coughs> yeah. The aubergine is terrible. This tastes like bimto. This rice looks different. <coughs> yeah, it's like little rice. <coughs> this is chicken biryani. Where's the egg? Where's the egg, by the way? Oh, there's the egg. No, I'm gonna have this egg. You have that one. They always have an egg to their food. Mm. The lamb is nice. The biryani is so different to Indian biryani. Mm -hmm. Indian biryani has like bare spices. Bare little stuff in it. But this one is nice as well. It's like a bland version of the Indian one. I like the lamb. It's really like tangy. Mm. Like gingery. It has like such a unique taste. It just tastes tropical. The rice is so fragrant. So overall, I give the food a 9 out of 10. Um, I felt like the rice was a bit soggy because of the yogurt, but it tasted so delicious. Like the food here is very fragrant. It's tangy. It's delicious. It's like a combination of flavors in your mouth. It tastes like yogurt with sticky toffee and then these like little pancakes that you can have it with but they're thin and crispy. Absolutely delicious. And then let's taste this. Um, okay, this is oh this is giving a rubbery texture. Very weird. 
It tastes like halal or jelly. I don't like the texture. Not the cup of tea. I prefer the other thing. I prefer the pancake. This is normal tea with condensed milk. Have some. You know, I felt a little bit embarrassed ordering this because this isn't a cafe, but I really wanted to try it. What an experience we've had today! <laughs> it's been so pleasant. Custom service is amazing. The food is good. <laughs> I really enjoyed myself here today. Honestly, Vindaloo is 10 10 for Sri Lankan food. So I'll see you guys tomorrow because I'm definitely not going to be eating any more food after this. I've never tried pan before and I'm kind of nervous trying it. Um, so the way you eat this is like the whole thing you put in your mouth. That's how it looks. I heard that this helps with the digestion. Guys, that's how it looks. And, and you're supposed to eat this. I'm going to like scrape it, bismillah. It, it tastes like you know when you see a flower right like a sunflower and you just put your mouth inside the sun the, the um, sunflower part you could taste flower you could taste mint you could taste seeds I feel like I just ate like a whole huh of like a sunflower but the flavor just made me really feel crazy like I it felt like I just had like drank a bottle of perfume too like there's a variety of flavors in your mouth Looking to Hoppers right now, um, which is a Sri Lankan like breakfast place because obviously as you guys know I am doing Sri Lankan food This is a joint Thank you Girl, This is a mango latte Not mango, you coconut Coconut I like sweet yogurt. You probably. I need to look for a small one. Why are they all so big? It is nice. Nice, nice. Guys, this is my egg hopper. This is the chicken curry and it's sauce. And that's the masala dosa. I'm, I've never been a yogi person. It's quite soury. <coughs> That's not a bit of me. What? That is not a bit of me. And this is the dosa. No. You need to get gal, I'm sorry. You have to get gal with that. It's actually quite nice. Do you like it? Yeah, I quite like it. It just tastes like a nice fluffy pancake. Got some dal. Some potatoes. Yeah, yeah. Add some dal. I love, I love the dog. I'm a, I'm a dolly. <laughs> this is coconut. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. This house really nice though. I could taste some ginger strands. Rice and dog. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Why are you putting it in the middle? I don't want it to spread. This is like homemade. Also, I really love the fact that it's using your hands. I actually love that. Is 
This is a nice bit, but already looking at it. Curry could do with a bit of chili. It's not as spicy as expected to be, I'm not gonna lie. This place is delightful. Curry was 10 out of 10. Dal was 10 out of 10. Egg popo really isn't a bit of me because I don't even like runny eggs. But the service is banging. Like the people with the staff is amazing. Um, so we've got some masala chai. Oh, this is nice, you know. Okay, pull me a tiny bit. Okay. That's it. No, I think this is what they do in the shop. You have to make it. Um, Older? Yeah. We do that too. I used to when I was a little baby. And then? <laughs> no, we have that. We have that. Too much. For my life. <laughs> Okay, fine, I'm good. I feel like a dog is like.